Frank had more money than Ma. Matthews was the number one. He would have ruled the United States. Frank Matthews was a much larger drug dealer than Frank Lucas. He's literally fallen off the face of the earth. In the 1970s, uh, we had a heroin problem in the country, and definitely in New York City. A river of money is flowing because business is so good. It was a gangster town, you know, nobody wanted to go to New York City. It would evolved here, he took over. He was a guy that had great leadership skills and knew how to control a product, make distribution all along the East Coast, and control an organization through violence and intimidation. A state senator from uh, Baltimore and Frank had him killed. And he had been identified as a, the largest heroin trafficker in the United States. He put $4 million on the table, and he says, let me see if you can match this. Let's face it, they couldn't believe that this black guy, you know, was, was working in 21 states, you know, with this huge network, and people were coming from all over the country to buy, to buy dough from him. In the 70s, the advent of civil rights, when African Americans were uh, becoming more prominent in business, the drug dealers wanted to do the same thing. And he hated the Italians because they hated the blacks. And his goal was to unite and form a family where they cut out the Italian mafia. Castellano and certainly Three Fingers Brown uh, would have wanted him killed. But there are a lot of people, even in the Franks Organ organization, that were killed and executed in Philadelphia. never had a solid lead on Frank Matthews. We felt like he had disappeared off the face of the earth. So he had $15 million and six months head start. Whether he's alive or not, I doubt very seriously we'll ever know. But even if he's not alive, he got away from them for a little while. And he did beat the system.